Okay, April 1st. Um, April 1st, 1970, Richard Nixon signs um, a law that makes it illegal to advertise um, cigarettes on television. So prior to that, you could advertise. Um, from the 1930s, 1939 on, there were studies that were coming out that were showing the harmful effects of cigarettes and the, the links to cancer and various other diseases, emphysema, lung disease, and all these things. And so they have been building up over time. Um, at the state level, by the end of the 1950s, all the states had made it illegal to sell to minors. So they had set the age of smoking at uh, 18, um, which they're not talking about 21, FYI. And um, now Nixon himself was a smoker. Um, he's known to smoke a uh, uh, pipe and would do up to eight bowls a day. They call them eight bowls. I'm not a pipe smoker, but apparently you fill it up, smoke it. That's a bowl. But anyway, eight bowls a day. So um, throughout history, many of our presidents have been smokers, lots of cigar smokers. Um, Kennedy, it was said that um, had his one of his cabinet members buy as many Cuban cigars as he could before he strengthened the embargo against Cuba. So he wanted to make sure he could get his Cuban cigars in before he actually made it illegal to get Cuban cigars. So you had that. Um, several first ladies used snuff. Um, several first ladies um, smoked cigarettes. Um, so anyway... So this is all part of a push. So in 1969, Congress had passed the law that um, required tobacco companies to put the labels on. The Surgeon General had issued his report saying that smoking is harmful to your health. And so Congress finally in 69 made tobacco companies put it on the labels of their cigarettes, um, the Surgeon, General, Surgeon General's warning. So that's when that came about. So anyway, so today in, in 1970, Richard Nixon signs the law making it illegal to t advertise tobacco products on television. I will see you tomorrow.